Welcome back everyone to the Minecraft Parkour Challenge for September 2018 where today I am looking for iron but before I do that I do my traditional stepping outside making sure there are no creepers around or anything like that and then heading on my way to harvest anything that could be harvested such as these uh, oh wow okay fine uh, I'll take that three pumpkins uh, that could be enough to start the second section of the pumpkin patch maybe not as well as I thought concerning the sugar here but still a decent amount right I've got 10 sugar cane right now so a nice amount in reserve I'm pretty sure that this hasn't grown back yet yeah I didn't think so mm. all right nothing too much of interest here So we'll just head back on inside. Maybe if I remember, I could come back out around the seven minute point, check again to see if anything else is up for grabs. Did my, oh uh, yeah, I still have an ax. Can't tell whether, or not, did my ax break or, or do I still have one? All right, there you go. Let that despawn naturally. I think I want to keep that one. This one I definitely want to take down. Okay, good. And this one. We'll leave it for now. We could decide on that one later. So it'd be nice if I could get get a horse or something like that. But unfortunately, I need a saddle for that. And you don't see me running all over the place and trying to get a set. Or, oh yeah, that's right. This is this area here. I'm going to light that up to make sure that it doesn't turn into a monster haven. Good. I haven't done all that much exploration in this world. Alright, we've got sheep of a couple of different colors here. Good. And some poppies. Alright, uh, I'm going to grab a few of these poppies. I think I... I don't know if I have any... I know I have plenty of sunflowers where I am at there. Okay, so I'll take some of those dandelions that way if I need well think that that pop actually I have sunflower so you would think that I would have oh okay of course it was give, telling me about the dandelion recipe to create yellow dye which is there now let me get back to base to make sure that I don't find myself outdoors in a very uncomfortable position in the middle of the night. And this isn't exactly an episode of the Picklesworth, who seems to always find himself outside. Oh, phantoms, what are those? <laughs> well, actually, he did get scared of them in a couple of episodes during, during the August challenge. There you go. Now we are at, we're halfway through the day. And not much here yet. Alright, uh, let's see. We've got... Right there, we've got plenty of that. We've got four pumpkins. We'll use two of them... ...for building our little farm here. Let's see, the oxide daisy good if I make banners 
I could also have maybe banners as a side light that these all these dyes and the wool and all that stuff, but I certainly won't have much time to set up a banner factory here. And yeah, these are going to take their sweet, steady time in growing, I suspect. Simply because there isn't enough water in order to make them grow quickly. And actually, let us do that, 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 and that. Similar to what we did on the other side. Not sure what would happen, but I suspect that if there were a torch... Actually, yeah, I think a torch there would prevent the melon from growing because it would be considered a full block. All right, there we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, and sixteen. Let's get the hoe out. Two, three, four, five, six, and then two pumpkins. Actually, oh, oh no, you need. I was wondering, I was thinking about how about if I created a card pumpkin, which gives you the seeds anyway. But then, of course, remember, a hey, card pumpkin requires shears. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay, dookie? Good. So those should all nice and grow eventually. Now, I, I suspect that it increases how fast they grow to maturity. I don't know if it affects how quickly they produce pumpkins afterwards. There could be on different mechanisms there, or but I suspect that it would affect both of them equally. Now I'm gonna make myself two. Pickaxes. Oh this is gonna be for sugar cane. Now sugar cane you don't need to hoe it down. And I've got oh I've got a full stack of dirt here. Ooh, didn't realize that. I was thinking, ooh, I'm very short on dirt. Of course, after all that dirt I dug up at the end of the last episode, I can understand why I have a full stack. There we go. And that time it doesn't matter, that's a little bit low. Because if it's a little bit low, because it's not going to grow over uh, like the pumpkins do, because this is going to be for sugar cane. But of course, in this case, sugar. I won't be able to actually plant any sugar cane here until I get the water, which means, yes, more iron hunting until I get that. Oh boy, this is. I was trying to think, well, what should I replace these? How much gravel do I have? Five. Perfect. Perfect. Right. So that means then I can fill this entire bed with gravel. Yeah. Never thought of doing it that way before, but I think that'll be most effective. And how about if I put this? How is this right here? Good. I'll need a better looking light solution in the end. For now, I think it's just a matter of getting the everything working you at, in a utilitarian manner. Then we can worry about getting things working 
in an aesthetic manner. And the first thing I need is, repeat after me, iron. I just heard a rather strange sound ready to the chickens. Yeah, there's something not right here. Okay, so the chicken tried to escape, and there is this corner here where they're able to escape from. Right. And when they go through there, they take damage. Oh. So what I have to do is to get rid of all extraneous fences. Uh, if they meet square on, I suspect that they're not going to create a problem. I think it's the some of those corners there that are creating the issues. There you go. And I think there. I'm hoping that that will take care of any potential issues on that front. And I won't hear that sound of chickens sounding like they're about to die on me or anything like that. Because we don't want our chickens dying since we can't eat the meat anyway even if you weren't worrying about normal MHC rules we do have this month where the rule is I can only eat zombie flesh or pumpkin pie and I can tell you right now I have no intention of eating zombie flesh and seeing how I have nine pieces of pumpkin pie That, that should last me the rest of the series because right now this is one, two, three. This is the episode six? Yeah, episode six. So that means after this one, ooh, we will be, have only two after this since this is, a, as Java Dad says, the antepenultimate episode. And yes, I do see that iron, which is what I've been waiting for for a long, 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 long time. And ironically, it is above me instead of below me, though, of course, just as I was saying that, I've passed another one that is below me. This mining session is has a fit of irony, I think, in it. Because as soon as I'm thinking... Because, of course, I'm doing all this, they say, oh, no, I must be too high, I must be too high, I must be too high. Go down there, and I then see it high up. <laughs> and then when I talk about mentioning it, then I find it low. So, therefore, let us get this up here. Then we can start cooking iron. This is definitely enough for my shears. And this is why I brought extra Oh boy, that's this is a nice vein of iron. Wonderful. All right, good. Good. Now, let's see what we've got here. This is obvious enough to start the furnaces cooking. And we have 12. Yeah. Not the most efficient way in the world of handling that, but right now, we'll do it anyway. It's not like I am strapped for coal at the moment. So I've got... <laughs> oh, wow. i got a full stack of it. How about that? Well, then I will deal with the stray one there. Now I have a full stack of coal.
Therefore, if you all remember what is the first thing I've been promising to build as soon as I got iron, and of course the answer to that is a bucket. So I'm hoping that we finally have three pieces of iron. And then next episode we'll be able to go out Deal with it. There you go. And item number one, a bucket. Yay. Item number two, shears. Yay. I have five after this. Item number three is going to be a nice pick. I'll probably use the stone pick unless I find something that needs iron until I use up all these stone picks. Yeah, it is a bit iron, iron pick. Okay, so so therefore we know what we're going to do next episode, and that means I could expand this out so I could probably take the entire room, have some. I mean, really give the chickens a nice area in which to travel on. You don't want the pickaxe. And then we could take them in and out. I'll just put a fence there, go in and out, and the chickens can have the entire room. Because they seem to be wanting the entire room anyway, so why not give them what they want? Yes, now this is... Wait. Is it already dawn? Now, I didn't think I was that off in my timing. It still says day five. All right. Is that sky? It looks bluer than I was expecting. And since it's only 17 minutes into the episode, now I do expect that maybe there was a minute or two lost here and there because that's inevitable. And since I'm not outside, it's hard for me to keep track of that. I am going to need a a better window or something like that at some point. But this is going to get its water soon. Good. And that'll get its water soon. And then I think we'll be set. In the next episode, I think we will finally be set. And let's see. We are day six. So that is the end of the episode. We'll return next time. We are going to finally get some water and some wool. The two W's.